Hi there, Steve from ByteWeb. I'm going to walk you through creating a Google Analytics account for one of your sub-sites um, for your virtual communities account uh, so that you can grant particular site owners access to their own Google Analytics while you maintain a Google Analytics account for the entire network. So I'm going to log in. You get brought to this screen here, not the most inviting screen. I'm just going to click Admin up top here, and that will take me to uh, the list of our accounts. So as you can see, I've already created Plus Acumen. And if I click into that, you can see I've created three domains so far. I've created the Plus Acumen root, Toronto.plusacumen, and Vancouver.plusacumen. So let's go ahead and create one more here. I'm going to go ahead and create San Francisco. So SF Plus Acumen Fund, or Plus Acumen. Um, and then you simply just put the URL that you're going to be using. and set the time zone, which is already good to go. So I'm going to hit Create Property, and that's done. Then we will click back into the property you've just created so that you can grab the little bit of code we need when you're cloning the new site. So I click into the profile, and I'm going to go to the second tab, Tracking Code. And if I scroll down, you'll see that the, the code we need is actually right here. But what we're really looking for is just this small piece here that starts with a UA dash. But from here, I can't select just that little piece. It, it, it insists on letting me select the entire piece. So I'm just going to scroll back up, click to the Custom tab. And from the Custom tab, it allows you to select the piece that you want. So we're just going to highlight the UA dash. And then there's a number string all the way to the end of that number string. And I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to jump over to the uh, cloning cloning page where we set up the uh, set up your new site, and you just paste that in there, and that's all there is to it. So that's the first step, and that's it. When you want uh, the next step, will be granting particular users access to their Google Analytics. So again, from the Profiles tab, the first tab, um, we can click into Users, and then you can add a particular person on a one-off basis. So let's just add Samantha. And we're going to leave her as a the user. So now you can see she is a user of the San Francisco Plus Acumen account. And oh, this is how we jump around. Oh, over here on the left, there's a drop-down to jump between your different services. It's not the prettiest interface to use, but uh, it will have to do. Um, so let's just jump over to Toronto. And as you can see, Toronto does not have Samantha, so it's a one-off basis. Um, and so that's really all there is to it. So once you've created the users, you can always come back in, delete them, add more. You can add as many users as you like. They'll only have access to that one particular set of analytics for their site alone, which is exactly what we're trying to do. So that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.